All right, so 29th of May, just two weeks after I actually separated a whole bunch of these Cerebus forbesii spiralis. For example, this is the top of this guy, and these three pieces, one, two, three, let's say no, one, two, three, came off of this guy. And one thing I actually discovered, because I actually did these, I cut off a uh, barrel cactus, a golden saguaro, and then a regular saguaro. And I'm finding that there's absolutely no new growth, like from the bases, like this, like a uh, barrel cactus, the golden barrel cactus completely died with the original section while the top is still good, but compared to a similarized partner, it was the same size as this, but it's actually shrunken down quite a bit, and it's not rooting at all. And I've looked at these guys too, and there's absolutely no roots, no pups, or any growth on any of the saguaro or barrel cactuses. But, only failed division I've actually done is this tiny little pup, but like right below it, on this big one, it looks like it's probably going to grow some more pups. And this guy's also been planted for two weeks too, it's just another plant that I got a couple weeks ago. And it's definitely starting to show new needles at the top, which actually started appearing about a week ago. So it really only takes about a week for this type of cactus to start growing if you actually purchase it from anywhere if it's dormant. It had hardly any roots, there's like no roots at all at the bottom, but based on how it's kind of fattened up, it looks a little bit more green towards the center and growing from the top. Pretty sure it's probably growing some roots down there. But one thing that's pretty cool is, for example, this base, like near the top, usually like the second one down or so, on most of these ribs, it's growing pups. It's pretty impressive. Because a lot of cactuses are supposed to take like a month or two, maybe even longer, to try to show pup growth. But this guy is showing clear signs of pups. It's like a, mostly a mass of needles, and you really can't see the pup underneath the needle, but. These are clearly pups within only two weeks. Sorry about the airplane up top, but yeah, it's a lot of times noisy or even noisier throughout the day. But another thing is its second cutting, the cutting that came out right off the bottom of it. It's also showing pups all over the place. Only one that doesn't seem to show too much is this one. This is the other one. It's a tiny section that I just cut off. But it's also showing one uh, like one growth point that seems to be trying to put something out. Like I'm keeping this kind of moist. I added cinnamon to the base of these. And it doesn't look like they're really showing any rot or anything. So that's a really good sign. I let them dry for like a couple of days. And they actually dried up really quickly compared to the cactuses. But the top section on this cactus, uh, cerebris, uh, it's called Cerebris forbesia spiralis, and the top point, even though it's just a cutting, is definitely putting out new spines because this stuff was not showing when I actually got it. But one other thing I discovered is at the base of it, there's like a ring of roots. Let's see, let me count these guys. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rootlets that are growing out of this guy and it's only been two weeks since I planted this. So, that lets you show, that tells me that this guy, this species grows pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'll lay it right back, but probably after this video, I'll dig this a little bit deeper might even get a little bit of a bigger pot and just stick it in because within another two weeks it's going to be really well rooted and this guy's going to get root out really quickly. Let me check this guy out. I don't see any roots on this guy but the small one. But what I think may be the driving factor is the apical point. Since it's growing as the top portion grows, it uh, forces the bottom portion to create a similar amount of root mass. And let's look at this guy. 
I don't see any roots. Actually, it is a little bulge. It's hard to tell on the camera, but I believe roots will form pretty soon. Probably within the next week. And let me see. Well, let's move on to this one. I cut this one off also a week ago. And this guy, since it's actually a more mature portion, like it uh, wasn't like a seedling, it looks like it was a cutting or something, it's only producing one pup so far as far as what I see. It's like right above that needle mass. It's not really big, but within another week, you will get a lot bigger. And one thing I've actually noticed on these bottom portions, because they already had roots already, is that they're really swelling up compared to what they were before. I didn't really take a video before, but as you can kind of tell, they're kind of swollen up, so they've gotten fatter. And when they get fatter, it means there's a lot of energy coming from the roots, and it's just storing itself up with more and more energy that needs to go up. One example of this, is this is a growl cactus. It literally swelled up before making some pups. And if I take those pups off, it'll most likely eventually make more pups because there's way too much energy inside the mass that needs to go somewhere. But let's see if this guy, which is the top portion of this, has made any roots at all. Well, again, I don't see any roots. But I believe within the next week I'll probably get roots based on who I see at the top. And it was taken at the same time as the other guy. And it's also grown a little bit from the top too. So I believe within the next week or so I should probably have roots on this. And this is one of the ones that I did not disturb at all. This is the control. And I don't see any pups at all. But it's definitely gotten a little wider at the top and it started to grow from the top. And this is definitely a really fast growing type of cactus because, yeah, compared to all these guys, like these guys will make a few growths maybe like three, four times a year once a season and they don't really grow too much in the winter time. Like this guy just showed a big boost of growth. So growl looks like it's about to get a little bit fatter but these guys are relatively slow growing compared to the you know, Cerebus spiral, so this uh, spiral cactus. And some cacti, like these guys, grow incredibly fast. This is like the Alpointia, uh, it's like Rodco cactus. Like this guy is literally coming from down here three months ago, and it's already produced this thing within three months. And these are also, like, what's it called? A apple cactus cuttings. And these two I know are kind of rooted. Because you can kind of tell the base. And I actually checked this one out earlier. But not this one. And I've, got, I've had this for over a month. Probably closer to five or six weeks. So, I chose to tell you basically how fast the spiral cactus will grow. It has an incredible growth rate and if you're a newbie to growing cactus this is definitely one type of cactus that I would suggest starting out with because it looks pretty cool with the spirals and more importantly it's really easy to propagate and grow.